Hey, hey, what's up, my friend? So in today's training or presentation, you'll discover right, the secret behavior of the stock market that nobody tells you. And I can assure you, 99% of stock traders do not know this. How do I know that? Because this is something that I myself actually only found out recently and I'll share with you, you know, who actually I learned it from. Number two, you'll learn how to exploit this pattern to your advantage so you can quickly improve your stock trading results. And finally, we'll use this particular pattern, right, and share with you a specific stock trading system that has generated 3,588% over the last 22 years. I'll share with you the exact trading rules, entries, exits, and much more. But before we begin, right, first and foremost, credits to Otman Growett from Quantified Strategies because this is actually a behavior or the pattern that I actually learned from him. Okay, now moving on, right, you're probably wondering, so what is this uh, secret behavior of the stock market that, you know, you're talking about, right? So instead of me telling you, let me share it with you, right, in your face, right, so you can actually see it for yourself. So how I'll do this is that I will do very two very simple experiment, right, to show you what I mean. So the first experiment is this, we buy the close and sell the open. What do I mean by this is that, again, the market over here is SPY. SPY simply refers to the S&P 500, right, the exchange traded fund, the ETF, right, SPY. So it, in essence, right, it actually tracks the S&P 500. So our entry is very simple. We simply buy before the market close, right? So every time before the US stock market close, we buy this ETF, right, called the SPY, SPY. And our exit is very simple, right? We sell on the next day open. So whenever the market opens the next day, we quickly exit this uh, position, exit this trade. So we do this every single day, right, from 2000 all the way to 2021. What's the result like? So you can see this, the result. Uh, annual return is about 7.36% over the last 22 years. Winning rate is about 54%. And if you want to look at the equity curve, it looks something like this. You can see that over the last 22 years, it made a total return of about 377%. So you analyze it, it's about 7 plus percent a year. So I think pretty decent if you ask me. Now, what if you do the opposite? How would the results be like? So let's find out. So the next experiment that we are going to do is that we're going to buy the open and sell at the close. So it's just the opposite. Again, market trader is the same, the SPY, basically the S&P 500 ETF. Our entry this time around, we buy at the open. So when the market trades, right, for the day at the opening price, we buy this ETF. And our exit is very simple. We simply sell before the US market close. So we sell this ETF before the US market close. Now, what is the result going to be like? Is it going to be better? Or is it going to be worse? Let's find out. So this is the results, right? As you can see over here, the results. Ding, 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 right? Annual return is 0.1%, right? And your winning rate is about 52, 53%. And if you look at the equity curve, you can see that over the last 22 years, if you buy the open and sell at the close, right, for the S&P 500 ETF, you would net a total gain of 2.26%, okay? So clearly this is disastrous, yeah? Because, uh, I mean, buy and hold, right, would have, you know, warrant a much higher return than 2.26% over the last 22 years. So what is the lesson that I'm trying to share over here? All else being equal, right, it's easier to make money from overnight trading than from day trading, right, trading within the day itself. And you ideally want to hold trades for a few days or more so you can take advantage of this overnight upward bias in the stock market. So as you can see, right, if you were to trade intraday, you know, buy the open and always sell before the market close, right? Your returns is going to be quite pathetic, right? Compared to someone holding their trades overnight, holding it for a few days, you are likely to achieve higher return based on the simple experiment backtest that I've just shared with you. So this is kind of like, you know, for example, you know, you, you hang out with your girlfriend in the daytime, right? You know, following her, do chores, you know, go shopping with her. You don't really enjoy, you know, you get stuff like, you know, hey, darling, do I look pretty in this dress? And then you have to oblige her, yeah, you look pretty, even though you think otherwise, right? So that's kind of like the, the daytime that you have to spend with your girlfriend. But when it comes to the nighttime, overnight at a place, that's where you feel happier, you got a happy ending. And it's the same thing for stock trading, right? As much as possible, you want to hold your trades overnight because you have a happier ending, yeah? So speaking of uh, uh, taking advantage of this phenomenon, right? Let me share with you, right, a simple stock trading system that has a happier ending because you'll be holding your trades overnight and that has actually generated, right, 3,588% over the last 22 years. And before we talk about this, right, I also want to credit this person, right, Cesar Alvarez from Alvarez Quant Trading because I learned a lot of my mean reversion trading skills and technique from him. So let's get started. First, I want to talk about the core concept behind this trading system. This is important because once you understand the concept, you can actually use this concept and develop your own trading rules and own trading system, right? Of course, I'll share with you a specific trading system that you can use, but the core concept is important because if you want to take things or take matter in your own hands later on, right? It's important to understand what the core concept is behind the system. Number one, we want to identify stocks in an uptrend because it's likely to continue higher. Why is that? Because stocks in an uptrend, they are usually backed by one of these three things. 
a strong fundamentally sound company, strong consistent earnings, or maybe strong positive sentiments. Or sometimes it could be a combination of all three as well. So this is why stocks in an up- uptrend, right? Usually stocks that have been trending over the last six to 12 months, they are likely to continue higher over the next few weeks or few months. So now, just because a stock is in an uptrend, right, doesn't mean, you know, we, we immediately buy because there are a few ways to enter a trade. You can buy breakouts, buy the pullback. So for this particular system, we are looking to buy the dip and sell the rally, right, for a better, higher winning rate. So all in all, this entire trading system looks something like this. You identify stocks in an uptrend, you buy the pullback over here, and then you sell the rally. Okay, so now let's move on and look at the exact trading rules, right, of this stochastic trading system. First thing first, market traded. Which market do we trade? We trade the US stock market, specifically stocks in the Russell 1000. These are the largest 1000 stocks in the US, so they are pretty much uh, liquid, easy to enter and easy to exit your trades with, you know, not too much slippages. The trend, how do we define the trend? We are looking for stocks to be above the 200-day moving average. Don't worry if you don't understand what this means. I'll share with you some examples later on so you can visualize right all of this entire trading rules you know, on a chart. So we are looking for stocks to be above the 200-day moving average because if a stock is above the 200-day moving average, then we can conclude that the longer-term trend is towards the upside. Now, entry. When do we enter a trade, right? First requirement is this, the 10 period stochastic is below five, okay? We're actually trading this system on a daily time frame, so the 10 period, 10 day stochastic is below five. You can see over here is the K percentage, right? So for those of you who are familiar with stochastic indicator, you know that there are two you know, two lines on the indicator. They have the K percentage and the D percentage. We are only focusing on the K percentage and ignoring the D because you don't need that for this particular trading system. So the 10 period stochastic, the K percentage, that line is below five. And again, I'll share with you the settings later on trading view so you can you know adjust it to your own needs or rather know how to use the right settings right for this particular indicator, okay? Next one. 3% buy limit order. So here's the thing, right? So let's say you find a stock that is above the 200-day moving average. And let's say you identify that this stock price, the 10 period stochastic is below 5. Does it mean that you immediately enter the trade? No, not quite because you are still wanting to uh, kind of like buy the stock, right? Only when it's temporarily oversold. And to do that, we place a 3% buy limit order. This means, let's say, for example, at let's say the previous day, the stock price closed at $100. A 3% buy limit order means that the next day, you will place a buy limit order of $97 for this stock price. So if the stock price reaches $97, you will get filled on the buy trade. If it doesn't reach $97, there will be no trade. So that's what a buy limit order, that's what a 3% buy limit order means. Now, speaking of the 3% buy limit order, this is like you, or rather this kind of reminds me right of my wife, right? She doesn't like to buy things on a normal discount. She likes to buy things at a massive discount right, to get the most value out of it. So it's kind of like similar to this trading system, right? You can see that when the 10 period stochastic is below five, this is where you get a discount. But if you wait, let's say for the stock to drop another 3% the next day and you get filled, that's where you are entering your trades at a massive discount, right? And it pays to listen listen to your wife because a story that I heard recently is that recently there was this uh, marriage convention uh, event, okay? And during this event, right, the hall, right, there were two uh, two booths over there. So the first booth, right, is for, for men, right, who are dominated and handpacked their, by their wife. That's the first booth. And the second booth is for men who are not dominated by their wife. So the first booth, right, men dominated by their wife who got handpacked, the queue is superbly long, right, to the exit of the door, right, the queue is still going on. That's, you know, how long the queue is. And then the other queue right, where men who are not dominated by their wife, there's only one man standing over there, right? No queue at all, just one guy standing there. Then the organizer of the event was really intrigued and he ran up to the guy and he said, hey man, how do you do it? And to which the man replied in this manner, my wife told me to stand here. Okay, so anyway, it pays to listen to your wife, right? So that's kind of like the point I'm, I'm trying to bring over here. And so that's uh, why we want to buy stocks at a massive discount. So we not only wait for the 10 period stochastic to be below five, but using also a 3% buy limit order to make sure we get a massive discount. Now, what about exit? Okay, we will enter, or rather we will exit, right, at a higher close. When the stock price makes a higher close, we exit this trade, as simple as it is. I'm still kind of like smiling myself, right? <laughs> thinking about the marriage convention center. Anyway, moving on, right, the, the other tra- trading rules, right, is also, you will also exit after t- 10 trading days. Because sometimes, right, you can enter, uh, let's say, after a massive discount, right, with a 3% buy limit order. Okay, and the damn stock price just keeps going down, 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 day after day. So what happens is that is after 10 trading days, if the stock price has not have a higher close, right, you will still exit the trade and it's going to be for a loss, right? So that's kind of like the worst case scenario. If you enter the stock price, it keeps going down, you hold it for a maximum of 10 days, right? If it still keeps going down, right, you'll exit, right, after 10 trading days. But most of the time, right, what's going to happen is that you will usually exit the stock, right, the moment it makes a higher close, okay? And I'll share with you uh, examples later on. 
Also, right, a little bit more to add is that position size. We use a 10% capital per stock. So let's say if you have $100,000 trading capital, you then what it means that you can allocate uh, $10,000 to each stock. So if you have, let's say you have 10 potential trading setups, you allocate $10,000 to each stock and all your capital, $100,000 will be used. And for ranking, very simple, right? So sometimes you might get, let's say you only can buy 10 stocks, but you got 50 stocks to choose from. Which do you choose? You simply choose the top 10 stocks that has increased the most in price over the last 100 days. So that's how you kind of like filter, you know, which stocks to buy if you have like too many options. Yeah. Now, let's have a look at some examples, shall we? So you can understand how this trading system works in a nutshell. But first, right, remember the settings of the stochastic indicator, which I mentioned earlier. I just want to show you the settings. So you can see over here, this is, uh, again, photos of you on trading view, which I believe 80% of the traders are on this platform. You can see that the K percentage over here is 10, right? Smoothing, I put 1 and 1, okay? And then you go to style section, which is this one over here. This is the style section. This is the input section. The style, I just hide the D right, because it's not needed. The D percentage, I hide it. Middle band, I hide it. And then just press OK. You get pretty much the same settings that I'm using on uh, trading view. So let's walk you through right some of the uh, chart examples of how this trading system work. And just to let you know, the charts that I picked, they are clearly cherry pick charts because it's easier to prove my illustration. But of course, when you trade this system, right, please verify it on your own. You will see losses along the way. Definitely, I guarantee you. Okay, so first example is this one over here. This chart example of uh, EOG. This is the daily time frame. So remember, the first rule is the 200-day moving average. You can see that this stock price over here right now is above the 200-day moving average. Number two, we are looking for the 10 period stochastic to be below five. So let me point to you exactly which bar on the chart we are looking at. So for this bar on the chart, you can see over here, if I look down, right, the stochastic level is currently at 3.48 over here. Okay, so 3.48 for this particular bar over here. So clearly now the price is above the 200 day moving average. The stochastic value now, the 10 period stochastic is below five. So again, our first two requirements are met. But remember, we don't just want to buy the stock at a discount. We want to buy it at a massive discount because we want to Listen to our wife, right? So, okay. So then uh, you can see that the next day, which is this candle over here, we had uh, the market heading down lower. And clearly, if you use, uh, you place a 3% buy limit order, you have gotten filled on this uh, bearish candle over here, this red candle over here. So now, what about exits? Where do we exit? Remember, the exit is very simple. The moment the stock price makes a higher close, it closes higher for the day, we exit the trade, just capture that one small move. So you can see over here, the next day, we had a higher close on this candle over here. The stock price closed higher and we exit the trade. And of course, when the stock price has closed, right, we can't exit the trade right, unless you have used, you know, after market hours trading. For, so for most people you that don't exit, you know, during the after market hours session, you can exit your trade the following day at the market open, which will be at this candle over here. The following day when the market open, you exit the trade over here. So if you do that, this will be a, a nice uh, profitable trade. Well, it's a small, small gain, but still a gain for this particular trade. Okay, another example over here so you understand uh, how this works. Again, first thing first. Stock price above the 200-day moving average. I have actually hidden it here because not to clutter the chart. Number two, right? The 10 period stochastic must be below five. So I want you to pay attention to this candle over here, right? Where the dotted line is on. You can see that the 10 period stochastic at this point in time, right? The value is about 4.2 as shown over here. So you know that it is below five. It has met our requirements. Now, do we enter the trade just yet? Right, no, we want to get in at a massive discount. So in this case, we place a 3% buy limit order and we have gotten filled on this candle over here. So we've gotten filled on this trade. So okay, so the next day what happened is that the, the market continued lower against us. That happens, right? so we are now in the red in losses. But remember, right, we only exit after a higher close or after 10 trading days. So in this point, right, only uh, two trading days has passed. One trading day, two trading days. So we are not going to exit because we have eight more trading days to go. But what happened next is that the next day we have a huge rally where the stock price closed higher for the day that is our exit signal so we exit right after a higher close so once the stock price is closed higher for the day the following day we exit our trade at the opening price which is over here we exit for a nice gain on this particular trade and remember right this i've cherry picked all this just to just kind of to illustrate to you how this uh, trading system works but when you trade it there will be winners there will be losers right so let me walk you through uh, the results right of this particular trading system Okay, so as you can see over here, right, uh, the net profit for this trading system over the last 22 years is about 3,588%. So that's a pretty huge number. So let's analyze this, right? And that is an annual return of about 17.81%, right? Annually over the last 22 years. Okay, some people call this the CAGR matrix, if you want to, you know, uh, call it that way. The other thing is that this system has a winning rate of about 65%, almost 65%. And number of trades taken over the last 22 years is about 3,000. 737, 3737, right? Nice number, right? Then the average profit per trade is about 3.6% and the average loss per trade is 3.73%. So you can see that this 
particular trading system, right, your risk to reward ratio is slightly less than one to one. So every every let's say uh every time you you make a dollar, right? Your loss is slightly more than a dollar. So it does, so this kind of like, you know, debunk one of the myth, right? Where, man, Rainer, you know, trading, one of the hallmark of a good trader is you must have a minimum of a 1 to 1.5 risk to reward ratio, right? In this case, it's less than a 1 to 1, right? Not even a 1 to 1.5, but less than a 1 to 1. And it's still a profitable trading system. Why? Why does it happen? Even though your risk to reward here is not even 1 to 1. Reason is simple. It's because you're of your relatively high winning rate. So that's why you win pretty often. So sometimes when you lose, your losses are more than your winners, but because of the frequency of your wins, right? This is how the system actually still makes money in the long run. So moving on, you can see over here, this is the equity curve, right, of it since uh, 2000 to 2021. So again, uh, it's generally this equity curve is sloping up higher, meaning that this trading system, right, still works, right, even to uh, up to 2021 where this testing is done. And if you want to look at the uh, table results, you can see over here the full breakdown. For example, in 2000, it's up 127%. If you look at 2021 over here, the system is up 15%. And of course, we have losing years. Over here in 2019, we have losing years. 2018, we lost 1.9%. Not only losing years, we also have losing months. For example, in 2001, we are down 12% for this month. We are down 4.4% in 2006 May right period. So again, this system is not the holy grail, right? But if you stick to it long enough using the concepts that I've just shared with you, right? This system right, has an edge right, in the stock market. Now, some of you might be thinking, man, Rainer, does it work in today's market? Man, Rainer, now it's 2022, man. The S&P 500 is down 20% for the year. How's this system doing, man? I think it's losing money, yeah? So let's have a look. I run the back test till uh, uh, this year, end of June, right? So I'm actually doing this video right now in July. So I, I run it till the, the recent month, which is the end of June. And this is how the system has performed in 2022 so far. So 2022 is here, right? You can see that so far for the year, it's down 1.5%. So remember, as of right now, the S&P 500 is down about 20% for the year. This system is down a measly 1.5% after taking into account commission as well. So yes, right, you can see that this system still beats the market. But to answer your question, does it work in today's market condition? I would say it's not working as well because the overall stock market is down at this point in time. But still, right, just because a trading system isn't making money, let's say, during this point of time, doesn't mean that you should abandon it. Why is that? Very simple. If you look back historically, let's say, for example, in 2001, September, this system is down 12%. If you abandon this system, if you stop trading it, then you will miss out these gains, right, in October, November, and December. And you can see over here, right, this particular system is up, right, 21.8%, right, despite being down 12% in September, right? So if you abandon that system, right, then guess what? You would have, you know, missed out on those gains. And take you to a more recent time, what about 2020 during COVID? A lot of fear in the market down 4.9% in January, down 4.5% in March, May, I mean, uh, in February. Many traders will panic, right? They'll give it up. Say, oh man, you know, market has changed. COVID has changed everything, right? No, this system is no longer working. But guess what? If you look at this system in 2020, it's up 24.3% for the year. So the message that I'm trying to say is this. If you quit, right, during the losing months, right, then you'll miss the upside. And the key, right, to to becoming a profitable trader is to not to avoid the losses, but to embrace the losses, to go through the tough times, because only by going through the tough times will you see better days ahead. This is the same for all trading system, because no trading system works all the time, because market conditions changes all the time. As you can see, right, times like this, right, where the stock market is down, most stock trading systems, right, will not be doing too well. Even the one I've just shared with you. Yes, it's still beating the markets, but still losing money overall. But what if I tell you that right now, there's actually a trading system, right, that does very well during such difficult crisis, recessionary, inflationary period. Might you be interested to learn how you can actually profit in such difficult market condition? If you want, right, then I'd like to invite you to an upcoming web class called Bear Market Secrets, right? So this event, right, is a two-hour live web class where you'll discover how you can actually protect your portfolio and generate consistent profits even during a recession, right? And the best part is that you don't need any trading experience. You don't need to read financial reports. You don't need to study chart patterns. You don't need to follow the news, none of it, okay? So during this uh, two hour live event, right, you will learn right, how to avoid losing your hard earned money during a market crash using one simple trick. I'll share with you a powerful trading system, right? I'll give you the exact trading rules, right? That has generated 3,270% over the last 22 years and it works well, right? During a recession. So if you're interested to be part of this live event, just 
come to this page, uh, tradingwithrainer.com slash BMS. It stands for Bear Market Secrets. Put in your name, put in your email address, click this orange button, and you're good to go. Our next event is starting in July over here. So here's the thing, right? Some of you might be watching this video in August, September. Don't worry, we'll try to host this event once a month as long as the, the recession, the bear market continues, we'll, we'll try to host it to educate as many people as possible. So just go down to this link, tradingwithrainer.com slash BMS. I'll put it uh, below the description box as well so you can click on it and quickly sign up for it. And I'll see you at our next event, right? So with that's it. I wish you good luck, good trading, sign up for it, and I will talk to you soon.